On this episode of Lumifa Classic, I'll show you how to rebuild your master cylinder. Welcome back to Lumifa Classic, and if you're new to my channel, I hope you stick around and consider subscribing. I put new videos every week on some Jaguar and Classic car related content. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to rebuild the master cylinder. It's going to be the one off my 1975 XJ6 over there. Still waiting on those coolant hoses, but I think they're going to arrive today. I got a text that they are on their way. So hopefully they'll arrive today and during the weekend I can put them all back. But in the meantime, I've been going through and doing a lot of other small jobs. And I, while looking over the car, I saw that the reservoir kept getting lower and lower with the brake fluid. And I couldn't really find the leak at first. And then I finally found it. And it's in the master cylinder, it's leaking between the master cylinder and the brake servo. I'll show you later over the car where it's leaking. So I immediately went online to try and get a new one. I uh, couldn't get a new one anywhere, they're not making them anymore, or at least at this moment, they're on back order. But I could easily get a rebuild kit, so I'm hoping that it will be fine inside, not too rusty, not too crusty. So I can actually rebuild it with new seals. Uh, I did find possibilities being able to send them away and get them bored up and re-sleeved and rebuilt but at the moment I don't really have time to send things away uh, postal service is also kind of iffy right now with everything going wrong in the world so I'm hoping I can rebuild this one so let's go on over to the car and I'll show you where the leak is we'll take everything off going over to my workbench and I'll show you how to rebuild it so here's the leaky master cylinder it's been leaking down there at the back running down by the servo and I put some paper down there just to catch the leak. The reservoir is pretty much empty, but just to catch anything. But I want to replace that, of course. So my plan is to remove everything as a unit. Just leave the servo there, but take the reservoir and the hoses and the master cylinder out as one unit. Just so I can get the hoses off more carefully off the car and also try not to make any mess. So I'm just going to cut those off carefully off the car. They're all rusted. I don't want to break any of the plastic fasteners here or the reservoir because that seems to be actually one piece and not broken so I'm going to try not to break that. So let's see if I can get all this off in one piece. I'm going to disconnect these two lines here, disconnect those two nuts there and then there are two bolts in the back that holds the reservoir in place. Then everything should come out as a unit. Now everything should be disconnected. I've also removed the two cables up here that goes to the sensor. So I should be able to take all of this off as a unit and hopefully not make such a huge mess. So now the master cylinder is out of there. I wedged this container in here to catch any drips coming from the pipes here. So I just cleaned up all the brake fluid. I don't want to have any more spill. There's a little bit in here, but it doesn't look like it's gone into the servo. I will remove this later and have a look inside here, see if I can see any brake fluid. But I think it was just running down here and not going into the servo, actually. Uh, some of the paint came off here. It's been leaking for a long time, I think. I haven't found any rust underneath here, so that's really good. There was a thick layer of dirt here, but the paint has come off. I'm not repainting the engine bay at this moment. I do want to do that at some point. Uh, so I think since there is a nice line here, and anything above that line has green paint and below, I think I'm just going to paint this uh, black. I have some black uh, paint that works for brake calipers and that's resistant to brake fluid. So I'm just going to paint that there. I think it's going to look nice and at least it's going to protect it until I have a chance to paint the whole engine bay. So let's head over to the workbench now and start disassembling the master cylinder. With the master cylinder off the car, I carefully pried out these fittings. I just cut the hose here, carefully pried those up with a screwdriver and got the little rubber grommet stealing rings out. I have new ones of those, of course, but I'll be reusing these plastic fittings. So I put in a vise here. Now I'm going to remove the two pistons in here. So you have a circlip there, which holds the outer piston. And then there is a little pin there that holds the inner one. So I'll set up the camera. I'll show you how to remove that pin. And then we're going to remove that circlip. And hopefully both of those pistons will come out. First step is to try to get that pin out. I need to push down the pistons all the way. I'll do that with a screwdriver here in the back. Push it down all the way, and then this pin should be loose. So you can see there, but the trick is to try and get it out like that. Now I gently let go of the pressure of the pistons. 
Now I need to take the circ clip out here. So I'm gonna just use a pair of circ clip pliers. And there that came out. Now both the pistons should be loose. I should be able to get them out. So let's see if I can pull out the first one. And And there comes the second one. Now I'm gonna clean up all the parts really thoroughly and then we're gonna see the condition of the inside master cylinder if I'm able to rebuild this one or not. Here are all the internals laid out from the master cylinder. So I've taken everything apart, cleaned it, and taken out all of the old seals. Just used a small little screwdriver and carefully pried them out without damaging anything. And I laid everything out in the order it's supposed to go. Everything looks fine, nothing is really corroded or scored, so everything is going to go together well, I think. So I just laid out all the new seals here in the exact same order as the old ones, so I can get everything together the way it's supposed to be. And I've cleaned out the master cylinder and had a look inside. Can't really see it on camera, I mean, it doesn't look too good out here, but inside is completely clean. No rust, no scoring, so I think it's going to work just fine. Clean out all the ports as well, uh, here and here. Make sure that there's no rust around here as well, so everything is going to seal really well. So even though it looks a little dirty and manky on the outside, it's really good inside and I think it's going to seal really well. Haven't really decided yet. I might paint the outside a little bit since I do have some brake caliper paint. Uh, haven't really made up my mind yet, but I'm going to assemble it because I can brush paint that afterwards. No problem at all. I have some clean brake fluid over here in a clean container. So now I can assemble everything, put the new seals on here and put everything back in the master cylinder. I will start by assembling the pistons. So this is a rear piston. It has three different seals. There's one that goes back here with this little retainer and then the spring, and then it has two that goes up here. So I'm gonna start with the rear one. Take the seal, just put some brake fluid on it. Slide it over here. Put the retainer ring on top of that. And then the spring simply pushes on. So that's that part done. Now I'm going to put these two seals on here. They go on this way. So dip them in some brake fluid again. And first you have to get over the first step and then on to the next one. Now that one is on there. Just put the next one on as well. So now this part of the assembly is ready. I'm gonna do the same thing to this one, and then we can put them all into the master cylinder. So I'll start with the seal here in the back. It just slides on. Then that little washer. And then the spring is on all the way. Then grab the seal that goes in the other end. And that one's on as well. So now both of these assemblies are ready to put back into the master cylinder. So first I'm going to put in the inner piston. Everything is well lubricated with brake fluid. I should Let's see if it slides in there. No problem. Then I'll grab the second piston, all lubricated up as well, and put that in. Then I'll push the end in with a screwdriver here, and I can put the clip in place. Now the clip is in place, I just need to put in the pin up here. So once again, I'm gonna push in the piston as far as I can. Put the pin in there. And there we go, that pin is now in. So now everything is back together. And that's it for today's episode. So it's all rebuilt and ready to go back on the car. 
So I'm gonna clean up the engine bay a little bit more where there was a fluid leak. I'm gonna paint that area that I talked about in the beginning. I'll put all this back, then I'll put the car up on jack stands, remove all the wheels, and we're gonna bleed the brakes. I'll show you in a separate video how you bleed the brakes and change brake fluid on one of these cars, especially how you bleed the rear brakes, which can be a little tricky if you haven't done it before. It's a little tight up in there. Uh, but let me know in the comments down below what you think I should do. Should I or should I not paint the master cylinder? I'm a little bit torn. Um, it doesn't look that pretty right now. Um, but I'm not sure if I'm going to paint or not. But let me know what you think in the comments down below. And some good news. While filming all this, I got text message that I can go to the postal office and pick up those coolant hoses. So I'm definitely going to fit those as soon as possible. And fingers crossed, it'll be a first start of this car coming up this weekend. So if you like this video, please hit that like button, share it with your friends. If you're not already subscribed and you liked it, please hit that subscribe button. You won't miss any future videos. And until next time, I'm Adam and this was Little Murphy Classic. I'll see you soon.